Hello everyone, uh, welcome in my channel ASP.NET MVC or you can say ASP.NET Core. So today I'm going to show you how to use uh, tabs in ASP.NET Core. So these are the tabs. The first one tab is uh, referred to the all. Here we have the uh, four users in the single tab all and the teachers uh, is only one and the students is two. So these are the view components actually, all view components, teachers view component and the students view components. So first of all check the view components folder. Here we have all view components in which we can show the uh, four uses. Okay, so you can check it here. So here we have a view, all view components, view components and the user manager by getting the all identity users by using this list of users and that is okay so uh, here we have a student view model and um, after that you can get all the users without any roles so uh, you get all the users uh, from the user manager class user manager dot users dot to list okay and you can create your oven view components okay and you can check in the student view component also by the specific roles so get a user in roles uh, students okay these are the view components so uh, here we have three view components view components and these view components views are uh, just under the shared folder you you know you know very well about the share uh, view components the components folder here we have all view components students and teachers so you can check all first of all the model class is also there so these are the view components so if you want to create view components just uh, check my previous video tutorial and after that the thing is how to use tabs these are the tabs how to use the tabs so just open your admin folder and check the index page how to use the tabs in ESP.NET Core the first is thing so here we have the bootstrap class navigation nav dot nav uh, dash tabs is the bootstrap and role is the presentation and the class is the class is model dot active tab what is the model model is the user tab view model so first of all create a new view model class just under uh, check it view model user tab view model user tab view model we have a tab with enumeration tab here we have all teachers and the students tab here we have three tabs in the active tab so you can check this the above uh, I use the model user tab view model user tab view model and so we can get the model dot active tab in the active tab what that is the active tab in active tab what all teachers and the students so get the enumeration student management system dot view models dot tabs dot all I mean to say that student management system view models dot tab and here we get all if all then active this tab all otherwise similarly we can uh, use it for the teachers for the students so active 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 and here we use all teachers and students and in the anchor tag asp route tab name here we have asp route tab name and tab name is all teachers and students and the regarding uh, action in the admin uh, controller that is switch to tab switch to tab switch to tab okay and after that you can create a switch model dot active tab what is the uh, active tab is there so student management system dot view model dot tab dot all if you are getting in the active tab that is all then call the view component all if you getting the teachers tab then getting all teachers if you getting all uh, student tabs then students so 
what is inside in the switch to tab action method of the admin section controller admin here we have switch to oops okay switch to tab what is inside in the switch to tab here we have a new user view tab view model there is tab model here we have only one enumeration property there is tab so what is uh, that switch to tab is the tab name and string we have the tab name and that string getting from that value from here there is okay so tab name is all then tab name is all all then vm dot active tab is what view model assign the active tab is tab dot all okay tab dot teachers tab dot students and the default is tab dot all return redirect to return admin to index page there is inside the user dot user tab view model vm vm dot is null then active tab is all if vm is not null then assign the vm and vm is inside in anything okay so here we have two things switch to tabs here getting with the tab name that is passing from there uh, ASP route tab name all teachers and students after getting this value from in the strings you get the tab name and the tab name is the case all if you getting tab name uh, is all then active tab set that is all okay and pass to the VM and here you uh, here you get all in the view model model dot active tab is all then set is all is equals to then active tab okay so there is the output so thank you very much for watching this video and keep watching all other videos uh, for re related to asp.net core and i uh, i want to check uh, the tab name in the url when we click on the teachers then you can check that url and also you can check the uh, that thing admin active tab is all and admin active tab is teachers when we students you can check in the status bar switch to tab tab name is students you can check it here students is tab name equals to students that is the query string value so thank you very much for watching this video